I don't know if you heard about this, but today the Trump campaign is launching Operation MAGA. Operation MAGA. It kicks off today to keep the Trump campaign at full speed. Did you get this notice? And I, I got really excited and I got really jazzed and a couple reasons for it. Number one, because it's a cool name, Operation MAGA. It's way better than, you know, like the No Malarkey Express. That's not that's not a that's not a cool name. But you know, Operation Mag is a, a super cool name. And also it goes to show that when a lot of people think the Trump campaign will be slowing down or 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 you know losing steam because the president is currently under isolation and being treated at Walter Reed Hospital. No, it's doing the opposite. The Trump train keeps trucking along. So here's the official release about Operation MAGA. President Trump's re-election campaign today announced the launch of Operation MAGA, a full marshalling of top-level surrogates, campaign coalitions, and Trump supporters to rally behind the president and carry the campaign forward until the president returns to the trail. Vice President Mike Pence will make in-person campaign appearances in key states, as will first family members Donald J. Trump Jr., Eric Trump and Lara Trump. The campaign will host virtual events until the vice presidential debate on October 7th when the in-person events will commence. Operation MAGA will fire up the entire MAGA universe to keep President Trump's campaign at full speed until our commander in chief returns to the campaign trail. We also encourage all of the president's supporters to pick up the banner themselves by volunteering in our grassroots Army for Trump, flying their Trump flags, putting out more yard signs, and wearing their MAGA gear proudly. This is, I'm telling you, man, this is, as soon as this email went out, it started happening all over in droves, not just in Bethesda, Maryland, where the president is, is right now cooped up at Walter Reed Hospital, where you had all weekend long live Trump rallies out. I mean, you had you had people with flags, honking horns, sign supporters, hundreds and hundreds of them all weekend long. <laughs> This is the crowd that's been outside the hospital where President Trump has been, and they are cheering and yelling and screaming, and so much so that the president was moved to leave his hospital room, get in an SUV, and do like a drive-by where he waved at all of his supporters. And man, they, I mean, they lost their minds. <laughs> Screaming, yes, look at him. And President Trump is so excited and he's out there going, oh my God, look at these people. It's so great. All over the country, we had boat rallies again in Pennsylvania. And then in Staten Island, this is Staten Island, New York, one of the most, New York City, the most liberal place on the in the country, with maybe the exception of California. And Staten Island, thousands and thousands of people came together, not because the president was coming to town, not because Air Force One was flying into Staten Island or anything like that. The president was not there. And you've got these Trump supporters holding their own impromptu rallies. And some of them are even bigger than rallies where the president has shown up. Listen to these thousands of New Yorkers in New York City. <laughs> They're chanting, we love you, Mr. President. And then, of course, they kick into the old faithful, like, you know, USA. USA, 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 USA. Yeah, we talked about this last week when the president first announced his diagnosis and that he had a positive test. And there were there were people on the left that were, of course, hoping he dies. And then there were other people on the left who were saying, this is terrible. This is god awful. This is going to bring together his supporters. It's going to bring together MAGA country. It's going to bring together all of the Republicans. And what they're going to be doing is they're going to be cheering for the president and praying for the president and rooting for the president. You've got now a candidate who is so popular and so inspiring to his base of support that even when he medically is unable to go to a rally, the rallies go on. The people still come together. The people say, you know what? You've been working hard for us for so long. You've been coming out and supporting us. You've been coming out. You've been coming to us now. When you need us, we are here for you. You stay back. We'll have our own rallies. Tell me another time in history when people showed up for a presidential rally that the candidate didn't even show up at. 
I mean, Joe Biden goes to his rallies and still nobody comes.